Assalamu alaikum, brother. <laughs> okay, I can't do it straight faced. That's like my fifth try. Okay, okay. Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, the Goods are Night. <laughs> oh, man. Today we're reviewing the Type 56. Sort of Chinese Chester. Type 56 being the uh, sort of like Chinese variant of the AK 47 and fairly popular throughout like the Vietnam War and the majority of known history. So, uh, with all that said, <laughs> we're going to be doing a quick little review on this ancient piece of gear, generally referred to as the Chinese Communist Chest Rig, but officially known as like the Type 56 Chest Rig. And it is, I hate to say it, but made in China. Yeah, I know, usually, usually I'll bash on that point pretty hard, but this is like one of the uh, original pieces of kit that came out of there. Of course, it's made of like cotton stuff, but we wanted to review on it. I actually uh, wasn't planning on picking one of these up. They do go for $30 from Commando Store, so they're dirt cheap if you want to carry three magazines and then four pockets of really whatever. But uh, yeah, so it's an, old, it's an old old piece of kit. Old piece of kit. And um, I wasn't planning on getting it. I was buying a uh, rucking bag off of one of my buddies, and I looked inside, and boom, there it was. I was like, Yo, you need this? And he's like, nah, brother, keep it. I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to use it for silly stuff. And here we are at today's silly stuff. Now, it's still widely available. People like to generally use it for LARPing because it's not as effective as it could be. Let me get a little bit of a lower angle here. You better view. Yeah. So it's definitely dated in design. But as we know, the um, SADF, South African Defense Force, and all their stuff, they actually somewhat base their chest rigs and the, uh, was it the, ah, uh, P83 chest rig, not the battle jacket. The chest rig was based off of this with more pockets and actually useful as there is this one. This carries three mags, maybe some medical, a bunch of tobacco, pro tobacco products. And, um, that's about it. That's about all you're going to use it for. So it's got these little, uh, buttons here and you just like pop that open and you can, AK-47 mags fit a little funky compared to the Type 56 mags that was designed for, but you can still just pinch your fingers in there and pop them on out. So you got, so, um, side pockets are more for, like, grenades and stuff. This is like a general utility pocket. And then on the far back end, you've got the, uh, I'm not sure, are these both general utility pockets? Usually one of these has, like, a little grenade spoon holder, I guess. This model doesn't, but yeah, you can basically do two just little like tennis ball shaped pockets repeated on the other side. So you can use that for whatever you want. And uh, yeah, so if we pop this back up here, so what we're gonna do is grab our totally ancient and totally a uh, Type 56 AK. <laughs> and you throw that on, Let's do some of that up a bit. And you got your very not American accessories on here because we're trying to stick to the theme. And you're going, you're going pop, 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 pop. Oh no. It's uh, there's no bolt to lock back, but it's going click. I got to pull out the mag. Yeet it across the, the, the stratosphere because you know, you're not going to reuse that. You're going to reach in here. You're going to pull this out. Sit your rifle back up, click. There we go. Yeah, we're right back in. Pop, pop, pop. I don't shoot AK a whole lot, <laughs> if you were wondering. And yeah, you're back in. Pop, 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 pop. All good. Pop, pop, pop. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. That's pretty much the entire video. So um, this is definitely a type of chest rig where you would uh, take cover to reload. You wouldn't be uh, trying to speed reload this in the open unless you're insane. Which, if you're using this, you might actually be. So, I'll pop the magazine in. So, if you run out, you're definitely going to want to crouch behind some cover and do your reload. And then, once you're back in, you can pop back up. Pop, pop, pop. The end. So, that's uh, their video. So, what can you do? The few efforts have been made to modernize this. Ah. In regards, yeah, to general use. Now it does got the uh, sort of like swim in cross harness, but the main review, the main thing you'll do is you'll probably take the back here. Let me actually pop this off. 
What's cool is you can just swim in and out of this. It's just a pretty neat design. However, without being a split front, people are divided on split front, like the split front divides itself. The full front, you get a little bit more space to put stuff on, but if you go prone, you're always going to be on top of the magazines. You won't be able to pop the magazines to your side and get a little bit closer to the ground, which may or may, so, may, or may not save your life. So, you got these little uh, leather tack pieces here. They're sewn into the fabric so you can adjust the right height and everything. But the main modification you're going to want to do, the first thing I did, was these parts that tie around your waist. You're going to want to put a tri-glide on there, a clip, and then some electrical tape. And the uh, same on the other side with the other end of the clip. Set up like so. I like to have mine clip off on the left side so it's easy to access. And of course, as you can tell this was very early, there's no, uh, there's no padding, there's no mat pocket, there's no dangler attachment, nothing. It's just straight up old school. So if you wanted to do insane cosplaying, this is it. If you just desperately need a chest rig and you only got 30 bucks, then uh, yeah, this will definitely fit the bill. If you're doing anything more modern than say like the 1980s, there's more modern chest rigs that are significantly better and more effective. So if you're using this, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of made for individuals considered very disposable, is a good way to put it. But if you're doing any sort of like crazy cosplay or something, it's pretty neat. And of course, most people just, uh, I think most I've seen them used for is repurposed kaboom vest. So don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it, but yeah, thirty dollar chest rig, and um, for thirty bucks, well, I got my, I got this one free. Full disclosure, because I bought it with the bag, did not know when it was there, but yeah, neat little chest rig. Um, I don't think you could use it modern day. I don't think you just like take the mags out and just like throw this on and I don't know, fill it with uh, what do you put like three chocolate bars, an apple. Maybe a tennis ball, in case you get bored and you want to play wall ball. I think if you wore this out in public, in modern day, you might get stopped and questioned. <laughs> the authorities may get notified and they'll be asking why you're wearing this, of all things. Oh, the green, I mean, it's more of the old school olive drabish color, ain't it? Yeah. Not really olive drab, a little bit off, but... More of a militaristic green and people might ask questions. But if you have nothing else and you're just going hiking, you want to carry some extra ammo for your AK, and you don't want anything interfering with your backpack, you know, $30 ammo carry. There you go. And you can probably keep your phone or, I don't know, lots of people seem to like tobacco products. And that seems to be what a lot of these things are generally worked into. And again, there's like Crydex freaking dip can holders and stuff going around. So who am I to say? I don't use the stuff personally, but you know, to each their own, I guess. Just uh, don't pollute the environment. Don't throw cigarette butts on the floor. Otherwise you may become the biodegradable freaking waste. <laughs> uh, if only, you know, like, me and cigarette butts don't get along. We have a uh, history of beefing with the cigarette butts, the person who disposed them, stuff of that nature. Yeah, so that's all I got for you guys in today's video. Just a silly little piece of kit that I had, and uh, now the video on it is done. And uh, yeah, if you really like AKs, I mean, you could probably get one of these, it'd look pretty cool, but that's pretty much the whole video. There ain't too much else to talk about. This is very easy to do, by the way, if you wanted to mod it. And that's really the only mod it needs to be somewhat viable. Other than that, you'd want to carry like six to eight mags over three. Three is very minimalist, but hey, those uh, really freaking um, want to be high-speed operators who only carry three mags. This is right up your alley. If it's not nearly as high speed and the pockets are deep, there's no, uh, no, the lower fast Crydex. You can actually dig in there, but it's uh, supposedly a pretty durable bit of kit. It seems like it'd take a bit to actually start breaking this down. So I guess this would get passed on from unfortunate individual to unfortunate individual until it was either broken or there was no more unfortunate individuals. So, and then eventually end up wherever. So I don't know. I really don't know what other what specific history this individual one has, but it's here, it was probably just surplus. I don't think it ever got used, because it was way too clean. So, cheers everyone, stay chill, if you have any questions about this, um, 
feel free to hit me up. I'll answer them to the best of my ability, although you'll probably just want to know how big these pockets are. Oh, but for those of you wondering, though, I always forget. I always remember stuff at the end of the video. It makes me look silly. You take the 8K mag out, can you fit in a M4 training mag? And the answer is, A, go sit in shame in the corner because you should be using this rig for that. And after your corner of shame time, maybe about 10, 15 minutes is over, then uh, unpause the video and the answer is, yeah, it fits. But if it's very deep. So if you got anything going on, you got like crazy gloves on, you're going to be trying to fish this mag out and it's going to be a pain. But you can do it. It is something you could do. If you don't want to dedicate to the whole AK shtick, it's an option. So that is all I got for you guys today. Um, if you, yeah, like I said, you got any questions, I appreciate you guys all watching the video and coming down here to hang out for a wee bit. And uh, yeah, um, I would buy the Type 83 chest rig personally, although they cost a bit more. And then there's the, there's the, the P83, and then there's also the Commando Store Special P84, which I actually did a review on previously. Fantastic chest rig. I just kind of wish the one I had wasn't in multicam black. I mean, I don't have anything else in multicam black, and I uh, bought off of a buddy, but cool design. Would love to have that in like Woodland or something, so. Cody Brown, big fan of Cody Brown. So that's all I got. Cheers, everyone. Stay chivalrous and uh, don't use tobacco products. They're not good for you. It's bad for your health. See you next time.